Hello, Work Life Warriors. I hope you're doing well. Today, I wanted to talk to you about poetry. It was one of the very first things I learned about myself that I'm a poet. I love to read and write. I like to put words together and entertain and touch a mic. I knew from a very young age, first grade, I got I read a dramatic um, poem on stage and fell in love. So poetry is something that I love and consistently try to learn and develop. So after I meditate in the morning, I try to read some poetry. And right now I want to read a poem from you for you out of a book that I'm reading. And it's not my poem. It's beautifully written and I kind of want to share it with you. It's from this book. And the poem is by Frank Francis Ellen Watkins Harper. And it's called Learning to Read. Very soon the Yankee teachers come down and set up school. But oh, how those rebels did hate it. It was aging their rule. Our masters always tried to hide, but learning from our eyes. Knowledge did not agree with slavery to would make us all too wise. But some of us would try to steal a little from the book and put the words together and learn hook by crook. I remember Uncle Caldwell, who took pot liquid fat and greased the pages of his book and hid it in his hat. And had his master ever seen the leaves upon his head, he would have thought them greasy papers, but nothing to be read. And there was Mr. Turnabin, who heard the children spell and picked the words right up by heart. And I learned to read them well. Well, the Northern folks keep sending those Yankee teachers down and they stood right up and helped us those rabs did sneer and frown. And I longed to read my Bible for precious words it said. But when I began to learn it, folks just shook their head. And I said there's and said there's no use in trying. Oh Chloe, you're too late. But I was rising 60 and I had no time to wait. So I got a pair of glasses and straight to work I went and never stopped till I could read the hymns and testament. Then I got a little cabin, a place to call my own, and I felt as independent as a queen on her throne. Mm. That was an amazing poem. We live in a time where we don't even remember the days where there were some people who weren't allowed to read and write. And we just take for granted the fact that we are taught to read and write from birth. We take for granted so much things. We take for granted our independence, our autonomy, our right to learn, grow, and develop, our right to love. And so many people did not have the opportunity to do that. And so this was just such a great poem to read early in the morning. It was inspirational and it made me extremely grateful for my experience. And I hope it did the same for you. That's why I shared it. Now, what poems do you love? Please share your poems and tell me what you thought about or what you learned from the poems that you read. I hope that helps, Work Life Warriors. Have a great day.